Hey there, I just wanted to pop in here and give you one uh, quick video in the midst of this, this challenge series that is just an encouragement to you. As you think about this intentional summer challenge, I want it to be one that you rise up to and not one that weighs you down. Because you see, one thing that I teach in the workshops and when I speak around the country, one of the things that I like to encourage moms with is this definition of being an intentional mom. Like, what does it mean to be an intentional mom? The definition is this. It's a woman who has both the courage and the confidence to live true to her core values. I'll say that again. An intentional mom is the woman who has both the courage and the confidence to live true to her core values. And what are her core values? Those things that mean something to her. It's like what matters most in her life and for her family uniquely. And that's an important thing. And so when we think about having both the courage and the confidence to live true to our core values this summer, that means we're gonna have to take time to get clear on what it is that matters most to us this summer. So that's going to require some things of you. And I want to be upfront with that because having a challenge just sounds like, woohoo, like we're going to go, it's summertime, we're going to go do this, right? And then life hits and all the kinds of challenges come your way and you think, what? Like what? Like I was trying my best to be so intentional this summer and it ain't looking right or I already feel tired and we haven't even gotten started yet, right? And instead, I just want to say this to you. I believe that anytime we make a decision in our hearts, our life rises up and asks us if we really want that. And how does life ask us if we really want it? Because we encounter challenges, we encounter setbacks, we encounter things out of the blue that, that we were not expecting and we weren't prepared for. And it's whether we rise above those, whether we overcome those challenges and keep going, that really lets us know that that's what we were committed to seeing. And so I want to encourage you so that you have the courage and I want to build your confidence by equipping you with the training and the videos that are to come so that you have the encouragement and you have the things to build your confidence, the skill set to build your confidence so that you can go through this summer intentional summer challenge and come out the other side glad you did the work. Now, it's going to require some things of you. Let me be upfront. It's going to require time. Yeah, the one thing we feel like we just don't have enough of. Here's the thing. It doesn't have to take as much time as you think. There is a principle that exists. Time will expand to whatever project we have for the amount of time we give for that project. So if we go into the kitchen and we think, oh my gosh, this is going to take an hour and we give ourselves an hour, it takes an hour. But if we go in and we say, we're going to focus and we're going to knock this out in 30 minutes, by George, we go in and we knock that kitchen out. And it's the same with our children. When you give them time constraints, you give them parameters to work within, they're much more likely to rise to the challenge than to just take forever to do something you know could take them five minutes. Sometimes it takes us to just communicate that. Sometimes it just takes an awareness of the time we're giving it. So what if you say, I don't have a lot of time, but I want to do this. Then maybe as you watch the videos, you've already got the handouts printed out. As I'm talking, you're filling them out. So in the same time it takes you to watch the videos, you're also writing your answers. And you're going to choose to say first answer, best answer. I'm not going to doubt my answers and then think about them and then talk about them with my friends and then give them a call and then go through the Facebook group and read everyone's answers. If those things support you, that's why they're there, but they're definitely not there to muddy up the whole process and slow you down. They're there to support you. At the moment they stop supporting you and they start to hinder you, it's time to turn them off. It's time to walk away from it. It's time to just be about being intentional and not worry about whether your intentional is as intentional as someone else. We're not gonna get into that. So it's gonna require some time. It's gonna require you to be brave. It's gonna require you being intentional this summer. It's going to require you to be very familiar and comfortable with saying the word no. 
because you're going to stick with your one thing and you're going to be rowing and going and flowing so that your family gets their one thing. And there are going to be opportunities and things that are going to come that might want to take your time away from that. And I'm going to encourage you to say, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Because we're clear on what matters to our family this summer. And it may not look like our best friend's family. And it may not look like our neighbor's family. And we're okay with that. Because we're going to do the one thing that matters to our family. And the people in our family. And the people who are living with us this summer and visiting us this summer. Their one thing. And all of that will lead us to have an experience this summer that's unlike any other summer. And it's one that we will look back on and be so grateful for. So is it gonna require some time from you? Yes, probably not as much as you think. Is it gonna require you to be bold because you're gonna have to make some decisions and make a call sometimes? Yeah, and you can do this. Is it gonna require you to say no to some opportunities? Yes, and what of it? If you say no to them, if you've got already your one thing in mind and that was what was going to make your summer amazing, can you say, I want to change my one thing? Absolutely. It's your summer. It's your family. Just ensure that you're always choosing the best thing, the best with what you know today. If you learn something new tomorrow and you need to make another choice, choose into that. But by all means, ensure that you are choosing what's best for your family and your family alone. I celebrate you. I'm encouraged that you are on this journey and accepting this challenge. And in any way that I can support you along the way, please let me know. Bye for now.